Well, tomorrow, communities all across the nation will celebrate Juneteenth, Friday, June 19th. It marks the end of slavery in our country. Here in Billings, celebrations are scheduled to take place at South Park on Saturday. QT's Mitch Laggy brings us a look ahead of that celebration. On June 19, 1865, Union Major General Gordon Granger landed in Galveston, Texas, bringing news that the Civil War was over and President Abraham Lincoln had signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing slaves in the Confederate States. Juneteenth, a combination of the words June and 19th, is the holiday that emerged from this historic event. State Senator Margie McDonald was behind legislation in 2017 that officially recognized Juneteenth in the state government. It's interesting as a holiday because it kind of bubbled up from the community as opposed to coming from on high or, you know, Washington, D.C. It's really, for 150 years, it's been celebrated. And it, in some states, especially in the South, it is huge. But we in Montana, we're not so aware of it. We're learning. In Billings, Juneteenth has been celebrated for over a decade. This year's celebrations were organized with the help of the Black Heritage Foundation of Yellowstone County. Pastor Tracy J. Starr is a member of the organization. He sees the holiday as an opportunity for black Americans to celebrate their history. Well, if I don't talk about my past, how do I embrace my now? How do I embrace who I am as a black man if I'm told to let my history go. Juneteenth has allowed me to embrace that. Juneteenth comes this year about a month after the death of George Floyd, sparking protests against police brutality across the country. Starr said the Juneteenth event in Billings is an opportunity for all to learn about black Americans' experiences. Until we get to the point to where we're willing to share our history and everybody that's on the receiving end is ready to listen to everybody's history and accept the fact that these things did happen. We cannot ignore that they happen. It's about what can we do so these things don't continue to happen. In Billings, Mitch Laggy, MTN News. All right, thanks so much, Mitch. Now, here's a little quick look at the details for Saturday. Juneteenth kicks off at South Park starting at 1 p.m. and wraps up at 5. A selection of speakers will address the crowd starting at 3 o'clock. Everyone attending is encouraged to wear a mask and practice social distancing. And the usual potluck barbecue will be replaced with a grab-and-go style meal.